Hey guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have something really cool for you guys. Um, I just did a deal um, with a guy who's getting out of Airsoft, so he's basically selling all this stuff. So I bought a huge package deal from him. Um, I just sold my Polar Star. I got a real steel uh, Trigicon aim point um, that I might use on my Air 15 or if I'll just do something else with it, like sell it on eBay. Um, so I was able to buy these uh, things from a guy who I know. Um, he was getting out of Airsoft because he's going to the medical field, so he's like, I don't need stuff anymore. So we're going to start, and this is going to be kind of like an unboxing slash showing you of what I got. So let's start, yeah, let's start with what's in my hand. This is a custom uh, Kimber 1911. He The entire body kit, he said, was like $160. Um, and it's a custom kit, and in the inside, he put a 6.01 tight bore in it. Um, he did a bunch of other upgrades and such. He put in a different recoil spring than the stock one. So that's really cool. I also got a black hop mount. Now, this one is a molly mount. If you can attach that right there, this would be hooking onto a molly system, so I might do that, like hook it on right there in my molly if I wanted to run this from my vest. Um, this is just like a paddle hip holster, um, and then this is for a belt. So I have all those, which is really cool. Um, we'll go next. This is a magnifier. It just magnifies. I don't know how big of a magnifier it is or whatever, but it magnifies. It's really cool. Got that. Um, I got a bag of KSC Perfect 0.25 brand BBs. Those are really good uh, BBs. I got a TD Multiport Plus Distraction Device. Now, I don't know what the heck this is. He said it was like a smoke cover device where you throw it and it gets like smoke. Um, I just thought it was cool because some of my fields will allow me to use uh, dummy grenades. So I just put this in my vest and it doesn't actually have to go off or anything. So that's really cool. Uh, next, we'll go Magpul right here. Um, this is an extra recoil spring for a gas blowback in four, which I will get to in just a second. Um, I have an inner barrel for something that I'll get to in a second. Um, triangle sight, regular grip for a gas in four. I got a Noveski. This is, I think, is this clockwise or, um, I don't know. It's either counterclockwise or clockwise, I'll find out later. I have two clockwise flash hiders. They're the exact same one, beat up a little bit more than the other one. Uh, KAC style grip, won't use that. Um, this is an adapter, it's just for my friend. And the uh, first rifle we come to of the day of this unboxing. This is an AGM gas blowback M4. Now this has been, these are different trades than a standard AGM was. Uh, it's basically, uh, I'm trying to show you this. It's, I don't know what he did, um, but it's kind of engraved, it's kind of not engraved. Let's see how well I can get this in the light. It's kind of not engraved, but it just says stone rifle, cal. Um, it's basically, I'll show you this, this is my other gun but it looks a lot, you can tell a lot different. The center trades, which is standard on like a GMB rifle. Um, it's basically exactly like those, except it's like darker, and it's somewhat like engraved in it, but I don't know. Um, but this is really, really cool. Uh, it has a Volter style stock on it. Um, I'm not sure which one this is. I honestly don't know. I know, I, I think it's just a Volter stock. It's got a Tango Down style grip. Um, some rail panels on the front, a Volter front flip up sight, which is really cool. Uh, the gas block is on here, as you can see, locks back, it's so really cool, let's do that one more time. This thing is shooting hot, that's all I know, that's all I know from it, um, that it is shooting very hot. Now I've never had a gas M4 before in my life. Um, so that's kind of like the first venture in this. And last, but definitely not least, most likely the best, is something that I have been looking for for a long, long while, or a, pot, a really nice one. This is a custom-made GMP, uh, this is the GMP SR16 URX 
Um, and the only thing that's actually the same is this and that. Um, from there to there. The body is the standard GMP metal bodies, which are beautiful. Um, but this thing internally, I have a list for you guys to read. Um, internal list of mods, uh, a Prometheus 509mm 6.03 type board. Um, it's got an, a V-hop on it with a Prometheus soft hop bucking. A system at air nozzle, uh, a garter full cylinder. Um, it has a MOSFET on it. It's the AWS Cheetah of some sort. Um, it's got a system of silent piston head, shim to the garter piston for optimal engagement with the Prometheus torque gears, uh, custom shimming, and then a system of magnum motor, which system of magnum motors by themselves, if you know anything, they're like $900. <laughs> $90. But this thing is a Haas. I will be doing a lot of external modifications as I don't really care for... I hate KAC style grips. I don't like these rail panels. I like Michael AFGs um, and other stuff. I might be getting rid of this front sight with a replaced gas block, but I'll probably leave that on there. Um, it has a flip up back sight. Working receiver. I hate, I hate battery boxes. This is a Spectre. Maybe you guys say something. I hate battery boxes in the back, so like when people have these on guns, I'm just like, are you serious? Dude, That's it just looks stupid. So I'll get a LiPo, buff, or a buffer LiPo, um, most likely. Or if I'll do what I did with my baby monster, and I'll wire it through the front right here, and have the pick box on top of my EOTech in the back, and it'll just look really cool. But this thing is awesome. Like, I... S <laughs> everything, like, every time you just tap the trigger, it just shoots ridiculously. Um, so yeah, guys, I got that, and then if I want to take off the suppressor, this is the original GMP hop-up and barrel. Um, if I want to take it down to a little bit smaller, because um, running around like this in buildings is not exactly the most convenient. Um, this is a DMR. I've looked for a DMR for a while. Um, I was thinking I might actually do this. Um, I think these uppers are actually attached, but get a different upper... Um, and have a, a Daniel Defense 12 inch rail system and then some sort of sweet body. That's the bot, the blower receiver is really cool. The upper I'd have like a Vulture Mirror 1 and then a Daniel Defense. Oh, that'd be really, really sweet. A Daniel Defense 12 inch rail system with the suppressor sticking out of it. Have the rail system come out to like right there. I don't think the suppressor would fit in it, so I might have to get a different one. But have it come out to like right there and just the suppressor on the end. <laughs> I think they'd be really cool. But this thing shoots awesome. And hopefully we'll be doing a shooting test for you guys soon. So thanks for watching, guys. And this has been my giant uh, deal unboxing. Uh, I have possibly had a um, HK417 on the way from a guy um, that I know I might be trading with. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned to my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Um, give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a cool video. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention one last thing. It has a Magpul Myad grip on it. Black Myad grip. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching. I will awkwardly reach over and turn off the camera.